Hey, I'm joined by somebody from Godot iFire. I respect him so much. And we're talking about uh, Godot 4.0. Uh, it is big news. And the big question is, will this be the moment where Godot crushes Unity? Uh, I'm talking with iFire. Go ahead, iFire. Uh, tell us, is this the moment or not? Godot 4 is our aspiration for, for fixing the problems of our previous release. We're trying our best to get into 3D. Uh, and not just small 3D, but like we want to uh, have a path to like getting into larger 3D scenes, better performance. Uh, like everything's been improved in Godot 4 for this. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, um, I think there's been a lot of hype around Godot since the beginning, and it's looking like it's becoming a real heavyweight contender. And I think, you know, the people that got me into Unity today. I went back to them like I the, sorry I they got me into unity years ago I went back to them and they said you know what Godot is gonna be the future for us and you should look into it and that was a scary moment because I'm all baked in unity but I thought we would have an interesting debate at this very moment when you know uh, all this is going live with Godot um, about Godot versus unity now I know why I chose unity but I'd love to hear why you I fire chose Godot for your project I should just mention he works on Visakai uh, and we'll get into what that is in just a moment but go ahead and tell me why do you choose Godot so I uh, I am like choosing Godot because it is fully open source yep. so if uh, anything happens uh, you get all the pieces if it's uh, if you know things don't You're in work control. you were mentioning before that uh, you know you know unity it can go away unity can go bankrupt and if something happens happens to unity you lose your project with it and that's one of the reasons you went with godot is that right yeah and it means that i can also more involved with the game engine mm -hmm. not just because it's um possible to interact with the team and yeah. let them know how you feel like they will at least try to acknowledge it, it's an open source project so mm. it's it's gonna have limitations on, like work but just having them acknowledge or having them uh if you go to the chat channels mm -hmm. they they'll be able to like give a response yeah. coding stuff might take a long time to get uh, fully integrated and so i'd love to talk about godot 4.0 what is one of the biggest features that you're excited for with godot 4.0 that's changing the game for you guys as we spend a lot of time at getting animations to work in godot 4 it it's something that we, we think is really important, being able to move, move in VR and mm -hmm. be able to move animations uh, across multiple uh, avatars. So animations across multiple uh, avatars in Godot 4.0, that's a thing right now with, uh, with the beta? I think in this beta, mm -hmm. uh, we have this feature called animation retargeting. Okay. It, it's still being worked on, but uh, the idea is that you have a you have like a character. It's being forced into T pose, and then you you'll be able to move other animations to that character. Or gotcha, gotcha. Move it away from that character to another one. Gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. So uh, it's just going to make your life a lot easier. Now you said something to me earlier that was interesting. You said Unity is winning on features, but is it? What is your thoughts on that? Well, UD has a lot of features and people really appreciate them existing. So I hope they uh, get improved. No, no, but what about Godot? Com uh, compare it with Godot. Is Godot gonna, gonna be stronger in that respect, do you think, in the future? Right, right now, the Godot code base is still new and there's, there's a lot of momentum behind behind this uh, open source community. We're starting from a smaller feature set, so we are able to, it's less technically complicated mm -hmm. to make make a change to improve it. It's lightweight, hey? You can, you can really uh, work with Godot in a way that you can't with Unity because, well, it's open source and it's lightweight, so you can make the changes you need to make uh, quickly, right? That's kind of a reason why compared to the uh, bigger engines, it, it's, it's like if it doesn't do what you want, you can uh, spend the effort to change what, to do it how you wanted it. 
Now, I'll say that in my opinion, or the reason that I chose Unity, I'm a social guy. I promise you, the guys who are not super social, they're the smartest guys in the industry, and they'll take people like me uh, out, uh, out any day, right? But uh, the social people like myself, I, I flourish when I'm able to lead teams and I'm able to uh, build organizations. And Unity has the largest base of people doing that. And if you're new and you want to learn, Unity is pretty easy for people who are not super technical but want to get into game development. Now, if you're really good at what you do, uh, I mean, why wouldn't you go with Godot, right? It gives you a world of possibilities. It puts you in the driver's seat, you in control. And uh, there's, a, there's a fantastic community. And one of the things I love is people like iFire and his team at Visakai are building something amazing here. Uh, this is uh, an open source like social layer on top of Godot where they're trying to be like the social VR, but again, you're in control. You can make your worlds. Uh, this is Visakai. You should definitely check it out. I'll leave it in the in the comments below. They're always looking for contributors. And if you're wanting to experiment with the space, um, you know, I think they're a great way to start experimenting and, and get involved with this sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, so Godot versus Unity. Um, my opinion is if you're starting, maybe it's best to start wherever your friends are because that's where you're going to get the support. Um, but if you know what you're doing, uh, you know, Godot seems like it's very promising and has a lot of momentum. What do you think about that assessment, Ifar? Yeah, I also agree. If your friends are on Unity, go with where you can find your support. You're mm. maybe new to game development. And that's what we say in our Discord too when people join in is that you, you go go and do the game that you want where your friends and where the support is. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people, <laughs> they pop, pop open Unreal Engine because you can have some fancy graphics with it, but they're, they're not sitting on the ground reality that none of us can make a game that is a AAA game in our lifetime, even if we were really good at it, uh, by ourselves, pretty much. Uh, none of us, okay? Uh, and so, um, you know, it's good to start where you'll get the most support. You can always change later on, but it's that starting, it's that that going up the mountain at the beginning that's the hardest and you'll never become a game dev if you don't go up that mountain um at the start and the rest gets easier and easier as you go down the mountain so make that that approach easiest for you and let me know what's your favorite engine in the comments below take care i recently had the privilege of sitting down with james who told us five mistakes you should never make as a brand new game developer he has about 20 years of experience and uh, he helped make need for speed so if you're interested check out the video in the middle of the screen i will leave it there for you to enjoy we are by the way i should mention an open collective we are a group of game developers passionate about building stuff bigger than ourselves if you're a hobbyist or if you're seeking to build your portfolio and want a want to join an open hobbyist team uh, you're welcome to join in the link is in the description down below so check that out